distinguished guests on the dais of the dais, senior officers uh, from the government of India and state governments. I would like to discuss upon the data information management system in what governments. If you look at this slide, how we progressed from 2012 until now with respect to the information management system in water governments. 2012 water policy stated about this in uh, very clear terms. In 2014, uh, Ganga rejuvenation was brought in into the ministry and all the river conservation programs, the data pertaining to those programs have been brought in. NHP, National Hydrology Project, is one of the uh, pilot programs of the ministry where uh, to improve upon the extent, quality and accessibility of water resource information has been uh, brought up in, by, by the program. And then the National Water Informatics Center, this is our nodal repository, a nodal agency of Ministry of Jal Shakti that would manage all the uh, water related data uh, at the national level. And the drinking water sanitation was brought up into the ministry in 2019. All the demand side management of water related data has been brought into the system. And as you all know, in 2019, Ministry of Jal Shakti has been formed and uh, all the integration of all water resource related departments have been attempted. And true to the spirit, our Honorable Minister of Jal Shakti, uh, he has conceived the plan of uh, integration of all the data related to all water resources of the country, including the states. And I would like to touch upon some uh, data sets that uh, uh, few of our Government of India interventions, it's an indicative list, it's not exhaustive. Jal Jeevan Mission uh, is a decentralized demand driven program, uh, so sustainability and community managed uh, approach. So all the data pertaining to that needs to be uh, consumed, brought up into the, into the system. Swachh Bharat Mission, uh, you all know sanitation, wastewater management and asset mapping. It's some geopla spatial platform of course. PMKSY, we uh, focus upon source creation, distribution management field application. And uh, National Aquifer Mapping, this is related to groundwater uh, management. All the lithology aquifers and groundwater related parameters uh, will be captured. And uh, drip program, uh, the SCADA and all the automation systems you all know in the states, you do it. And uh, National Water Mission, uh, which is uh, the nodal for running this program also of this today conference. They work upon the water conservation, increasing uh, water use efficiency, promotion of basin level integrated water management. So all the data pertaining to those things also need to be consumed. Jal Shakti Abhiyan, all the minor uh, micro structures for uh, water conservation, groundwater recharge, cash rate campaigns, Amrit Sarovar, the latest. And interlinking of rivers, flood and drought management, river basin management. Atal Puja Yojana, it's a community led uh, uh, groundwater uh, uh, demand uh, management program. All the data pertaining to that. And then HP, of course, this takes care of the important systems of uh, you know the country that is Boris, Bims, etc. So as mentioned, uh, the, but the challenges, uh, let's look at the challenges in integration of data and information. We have multiple platforms and systems that exist in the uh, government of India level, at the national level rather. At Ministry of Jal Shakti itself, the indicative list is given there, CWC, so the Water Board and all the way further. We have various systems that exist but in silos because of the uh, respective uh, you know, the, the structures that are put in into these uh, agencies. Uh, at the uh, Government of India level itself, uh, there are about 17 organizations, I mean departments and various other ministries of Government of India related to water resource uh, data. Of course states and UPs, you have your own disposed and isolated environments. And so the data is uh, right now, in the sense, uh, has been dispersed, duplicated and incomplete. Partially automated, leading to inconsistency. Homogeneity, compatibility, interoperability needs to be brought up. And predictions of 30, 360 degrees is missing because of the, you know, uh, because of this dispersed data. And predict, uh, absence of single source of truth. We have multiple sources of truth. Which one to be our priority? Which one of the need to be authenticated source? And absence of data analytics, which is uh, very important. If you look at the typical data processes in the, you know, the data can be migrated, ported, converted, extracted, linked, shared, loaded, integrated, etc. But for all this, the crucial thing is data creation generation. Do we have enough data? If it is there, whether it is automated or manual, whether it is integral or, you know, whether it is, you know, uh, not, uh, you know, it has gaps or, you know, not that kind of strength. So for all this to happen, 
metadata that is the data about data is very crucial and first of all we need to capture the metadata then we can operate at that level and build upon it and this is how the building the process happens we have initial data raw data that is there you know through various streams data streams that we get you select that and you focus upon your target data pre process it then transform it into a transform data do your data mining and from the data mining this is where the actual you know the processes and the models that are built upon is the mined data and so after that the knowledge and various dissemination platforms take it up but the data mining is the crucial factor which is uh, you know encompasses this whole system as i mentioned earlier nwsc is a nodal agency of ministry of health safety the mandate is uh, it, it should be national custodian of water resource data and so the objectives are a collect collection of water resource data maintaining updating collecting sharing disseminating development of various tools and collaborate with all states and uh, all other agencies in government of india the key systems of nwsc most of the states work with these systems you already know uh, water information management system wins and india varies and uh, corresponding states also you have many states have in uh, state varies also but these two are the primary uh, uh, systems that we already have which are up and running correct correcting so much of data that has been described on this slide so now the, uh, the what has happened is as mentioned earlier our honorable minister has directed us that you know the real integration of minister of jal shakti could happen only if we integrate the data the data and functionality of these systems need to be completely integrated so on his advice and on his leadership we have done about 3000 plus hours of deliberations uh, having chaired by himself the minister and uh, the, the secretaries and other senior officers of the ministry and we have come up with nine themes 70 applications 300 plus business specific requirements and 1700 plus data points this has been done over the course of last two years and the new digital support system that we are envisaging which we are actually the implementation phase has started a couple of months back the feasibility and the design is over and uh, it enables uh, you know the digitally enabled platform which uh, with the cloud native applications uh, with the data analytics and the digital support system uh, and uh, strengthening of nwsc uh, in correspondence with swsc at various states level and a national water data network and uh, which is citizen centric of course and substantial cost saving also so this is the uh, what we call is water and allied resources information and management systems wars basically the, this would not only subsume the existing wims and wars but it would have the key features of uh, unified data repository for all water related allied resources data unified cloud hosting state of the art command and control center geospatial analytics lab kind of addressing all customized water data related uh, special products intelligent insight into data using various models including hydrological and uh, 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 the it models and smart dynamic dashboards and basically automated early warning modules and uh, this is like uh, having nine themes as i mentioned which is surface water ground water water utilization water quality water harvesting event analysis project management knowledge center and self service analytics if you look at the listed uh, uh, under each of these themes you have i think uh, i would say everything of everything we try to put in and we are still you know open to what kind of consumption we can make but we are touching upon every aspect of water related data and information to be into this system and uh, the new mis applications uh, the, the, the earlier ones these are all the decision support systems so basically not only the data would be captured but all the kinds of data analytics and tools would be applied on top of it where decision support decision can be made from a common citizen perspective to the highest level of secretary to government of india at any point of time there could be decisions that could be made on every aspect of water related data and this comes uh, the new mis applications planned in varaps uh, these are all new not the existing ones we have a uh, gis based nacwin uh, to centralize IO iot platform for the jeevan mission and national uh, projects and uh, uh, all kinds of uh, monitoring uh, river basin management approach as uh, honorable uh, chief minister of maharashtra mentioned the river basin management and uh, the flood uh, early warning systems and uh, integrated reservoir operations uh, many of those components 
And then we are also unifying the existing applications that the uh, majority of them as are mentioned here, like Atal Bhujal Yojana, my, my, MI Census, JJM applications, and uh, NWM portals, and Ingress, everything of, you know, as we, as I said, you know, the existing applications have been uh, being subsumed. And we have also worked upon to, with uh, various other uh, uh, departments in Government of India, outside Ministry of Jal Shakti, uh, NRSC, Survey of India, IMD, CBCB, Departments of RD, Agriculture, Farmers Welfare, Land Resources, Mahua, Smart Cities, uh, Amrit 2.0, uh, Mahatma Gandhi Narega Program, and rest of the things mentioned here. All the data pertaining to various operations on water and related resources would be subsumed and consumed from these organizations into our system. And these are the themes, applications, use cases, data points, and data sources. This presentation will be shared with you, so I just don't want to read through all these things. But if you look at the data sources, these have been identified for each of these application and use cases. And we wanted to actually prioritize and ensure that the data gaps are filled. It is integral, authentic, interoperable, uh, you know, kind of where everything is trying to uh, be brought into, uh, you know, a unified platform. So these are the various... Uh, so now, states are integral part of RMS. Basically, water being a state subject, uh, the, uh, the, the state-specific data repository for uniform data acquisition, standardization, validation, analysis, and dissemination. We need this, and this is where we could, uh, you know, in integrate both the state's data and the, uh, the government of India. So, what we have envisaged under the NHV program is setting up of state water informatics center. And uh, this is in parallel with the NWAC that we have in Ministry of Jalship, Government of India level, where the states would be empowered uh, with online uh, setting up of online uh, state waris. And this would be a central system for basin and regional level policy planning of the states. This would act as a single point of uh, contact and solution for uh, all state related water resource information systems brought into SWAC. And uh, as I said, uh, the benefits are uh, basically policy formulation and data exchange, sharing, etc. Everything would be standardized, policy-based, uniformity, data acquisition, standardization, analysis, and dissemination, ease of access at various levels, knowledge centers, and quick deployment based on the requirements as the state uh, wants uh, to uh, you know, get into various other uh, systems of uh, management. SW the scope, as I said, the collection of water data at local level, maintain the water data, data validate the data, additional database and uh, geospatial data creation as per state's uh, specific needs, and uh, state specific reports, visualization dashboards, and state specific application and digital support system. So the stakeholders at state level with uh, related to SWIC are the line departments listed there, starts from irrigation, water resources all the way. We have about like so 10, 11 to 14 uh, departments, and uh, including the academicians, researchers, NGOs, and other institutes of importance. And the users of SWAC would be, of course, the respective state government organizations. Apart from that, uh, the central government organizations, co basin states, and of course, general public, and all other academicians and other researchers. So, NWAC is technical support to SWAC. This is what we have worked upon under NHP, and basically, uh, both the NWAC and SWAC in collaboration with all the states. We are uh, doing the standardization of data and GS layers. Basically, this is, uh, this, this is basically we want to work upon uh, the standard uh, sets of things across the country. So all these uh, defined pre-definitions have been made for the, all the states and uh, standardization of data and GS layers, sharing and integration of data with states, development of RFs, which I just mentioned about common validation tools and development of uh, specific reports, visualization dashboards, specific to the states as well as uh, for whatever at uh, national level which we require. And so this has been uh, hand in glove work that has been happening. And we have categorized states into two groups. One is model one state, the other one is model two. Model one is something where the states have not yet come up with either of DBMS, GAS or portal, one of these three. And the model two states are, uh, which are already up and running on all these three. So, uh, the left side are the parameters that have been defined. A database standards, database setup, software, business data, geospatial data, delimited data, development environment, production environment, local IT infra management, coordination with central agencies, 
the state agencies, data integration between enterprise and SWC. Model 1 states, model 2 states. If you look at it, model 1 states would be mostly NWIC. Uh, the variants which I mentioned in NWIC would be leading the program for the states also. And states would uh, input their data. And uh, most of the infrastructural and development uh, environment would be given by uh, this uh, NWIC. Model 2 states, you already have your systems in place. And uh, we would be integrating through API all your systems into our NWIC system. And, uh, and the states have every right for their, you know, security of the data and the sharing of their data. It's not that, you know, states have full control of their data. And uh, whatever is common with NWIC and PIMS database, the editing uh, is, uh, rights are given to NWIC data generating agencies, including states. And all other states can only view. And as far as state-specific data is concerned, Edit is completely concerned with the state. You will edit your things, and NWS and COBIS states can only view it. And uh, this is a progress. Basically, we have uh, Model 1 states, 12 of them already signed. Uh, MOA has been signed with us, NWSC. And Model 2, uh, one uh, state has signed. And uh, seven states have set up the lead department, which the MOA needs to be signed by them. We are anticipating, expecting them that they would soon. Uh, sign the MOA with us. Rest of the states, whatever have been left over, we encourage them to immediately start uh, categorizing themselves in either MOA uh, model 1 or model 2 and come with us. Uh, and this is way forward, uh, last uh, two three slides uh, for me. And thank you very much sir, you have not uh, rung the bell. So, <laughs> so I, I was running with my language, I am sorry because I have so many slides. So action to be taken by states, way forward. These are administrative and technical. Administrative, as I said, identify the lead department and obtaining necessary approvals. Signing of MOA with Model 1 or Model 2. Administrative agreement and meeting with all your line departments and make yourself uh, the nodal department. And, uh, you know, deployment of experts, etc. Technical, of course, I don't want to read through. Uh, this can be, you know, uh, you know shared with the states. Uh, all the gaps of data needs to be identified, everything needs to be done. The templates are given by NWIC. Accordingly, all the tools and uh, the systems will be developed. This is a uh, suggestive organizational composition for SWIC, which uh, you can, uh, you know, honor our suggestion or you can go with your own setup. But um, this is overall, you know, this kind of uh, setup is needed. And uh, uh, assets created are NHP, this is very important and most of the assets created under NHP project uh, where we have spent uh, finances have been uh, uh, given by NHP program to the states, those can be used for administrative and IT infrastructure. And states doesn't have to really pitch in more uh, you know, uh, funds for this, most of the things can be reused. And uh, role of lead department. Uh, monitoring and uh, mentoring of SWAC need to be done. Staffing and department to identify the coordinator, regular meetings, infrastructure, office space, development of state varies. And uh, basically, as uh, mentioned earlier, SWAC can be set up uh, the data center that has been established under NHP program. Funding for development of basic infrastructure, initial deployment of all uh, experts, man, machines, everything, and uh, a specific mandate as interested by. Uh, your specific state. So this is my last slide. Basically, as uh, variants is one of the uh, major contributions that uh, Ministry of Health should be under able guidance of our honorable minister. So this would be an authoritative digital support system of water and land resources in India. This will have more than 89 government agencies on board, 36 internal agencies of Ministry of Health Shakti, all 36 states and new territories, 17 ministries, departments, external to MOJS Government of India. We'll, this will have 70 applications and 300 functionalities. Uh, we are hoping to deliver all these things in the next one to one and a half years. The work has already been development phase has already started. And this system is going to impact 20% of world population, largest data analytics platform of its kind and optimize, of course, the scarcest resource, valuable resource of water and food. And this will follow the DGQI guidelines and the MATI guidelines. And uh, so, welcome on board to Valence and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity.